everything in the world can't be racist or can it? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about a black professor at North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State College who has been in some hot water as of late due to a screenshot of a syllabus that was posted on Twitter and has since gone viral. Now, in the syllabus, or at least in the screenshot of the syllabus, there's a dress code. And there are certain items in the dress code that certain people are saying are akin to being anti-black. Now, I don't know who said that wearing a bonnet or booty shorts was a, a black only thing. I don't know who said that. Furthermore, I don't know why it's a bad thing for this man to ban that from his classroom. Okay, this kind of reminds me of a thing that happened before at another HBCU, because NCANT is, is a black college in Hampton in Virginia, where the business part of the school banned certain hairstyles like dreadlocks and things of that nature. People said it was anti-black, although it's a black college and mostly black students. But the reason why they did that is because, okay, you're in the business program. You want to get placed in a certain corporation after you leave here. You want to have a job that pays you decently. You want to have a good return on your investment. Hampton's not cheap. It's like 30 grand a year. It's not a cheap school to go to. You want to have a good result once you leave. Not just graduate with a good education, but also have a good job afterward or the ability to make some of yourself. So if you got dreads and other kind of hairstyles that aren't really suitable for the corporate world, you're at disadvantage. So that makes Hampton look bad by not being able to get you in place where your classmates are able to go. It, it kind of reduces their placement rate. It makes them look bad. Like it doesn't make any sense. Just follow what I'm saying to help yourself get ahead in the corporate world. It's not about being anti-black. It's about being pro-business, pro-money. Like if it was me, if I had a head full of dreads and whatnot, which I don't, you know, skinhead bought over here, but if I had a head full of dreads and they said, hey, man, if you cut your dreads, you can get a job out of college at 21 years old making 100 grand. No problem. 21 years old, 100 grand in Virginia or somewhere else like that, sign me up. I don't care about them dreadlocks. It ain't worth my whole career. It ain't worth that much money, but different story, I digress. So this kind of reminds me of that. It's similar in its nature. There's a whole article about it. We won't read this right because it's not really... It's not too much to it, but I want to read the headline because that's pretty much enough to queue up the actual syllabus. But you see what it says right here. Black instructor at black college deemed anti-black for asking that students not wear do-rags and hoodies. And shout out to the writer of this article. Hilarious. Uh, one user claimed that the professor's dress code was giving with a bunch of G's anti-black. And it's not at all, but people just want to say things. For the sake of saying it, and here is the actual um, screenshot of the syllabus. I don't have the entire thing. If you guys have that, y'all let me know in the comments, send me an email or something like that. But this is the, the post that has kind of gone viral on the internets. So it's talking about Blackboard and whatnot. So here is the part that is the, the issue, right? Dress code, the proper dress for this class um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, probably business casual. I don't know what that really is right there. It's BU something because it's cut off right there. The following are not appropriate to wear. Bonnets, do-rags, hoodies, booty shorts. I can't say what that is right there. I'm surprised this man put that word in there. But basically, you ever, you ever seen like uh, Daisy Dukes, real short, short, shorts? These are like accelerated Daisy Dukes. These are like Daisy Dukes to the max. I'm talking about, if you saw them, they would look uncomfortable. You understand what I'm saying? But anyway, and twerk shorts. Twerk shorts, I guess these are like basically underwear, like boy shorts, kind of like boxer briefs with no uh, wee-wee hole in the front. You understand what I'm talking about? Things that are really inappropriate, you shouldn't be wearing out to class. You know, and I saw quite a bit of that, like not really when I was in school, but, but later after I graduated from college and I would see that kind of stuff. And it's like... <laughs> I mean, I don't, whatever, but this stuff right here is not really appropriate for the class. And you see the, uh, the, the last line right here. If you wear it to the bed or the club, don't wear it probably to class. And people got a problem with that. They got a serious issue. And if you don't know what a bonnet is, when I'm, as I'm going to come back here, this is a bonnet. You probably see this a lot all over the place. 
people running into grocery stores and whatnot. And I hate that. It's like, look, if you go into a grocery store, I used to see it all the time when I was in Virginia, especially. I see it here sometimes in Tennessee too, but not not so much actually. It's it's a little different here. People kind of like put regular clothes on. Like even if it's just like a Dale Earnhardt t-shirt and some sweatpants, that's better than straight pajamas. I'm talking about PJs with geranimals and whatnot on the PJs. It'd be a whole family. Geranimals, house slippers, bonnets, everything else. One thing I saw, which was really sad, was a little boy and these three gargantuan looking young ladies. And he was dressed and walking and talking just like them. I'm like, man, that boy don't got no chance. But I digress. So this, this is like all too common for people to be wearing, like basically wearing pajamas and things that you shouldn't be wearing. Like, okay, you got you got club attire, way too sexy for your economy class. And then you have um, the attire that you would just, your, your pajamas. You go straight to bed wearing that, get up in the morning, don't even shower or nothing, no hygiene factor going on, and come straight to the classroom. Now, for some people reading this, say it's anti-black. But I'm going to come back so you can see me clearly. How is it anti-black to say, hey, don't wear pajamas to class. Don't wear your, your do-rag and your bonnet, your, your hair tie, stuff like that to class. The same way it's not anti-black to say, hey, if you want to be in this program and you want to pay 30 grand a year, you want your investment to pay off for you. You want to be in a whole $120,000 at, at the end of it? Okay, well, check it out. Cut your dreads off because once you graduate, you want to get a job. And the same thing with the classroom. And and really, you know, I think this this is a male teacher. He probably don't want to have that kind of energy around him because it's easy for somebody to make an accusation about you and all this and that. You know, a girl coming in the classroom, booty shorts on, and she doing little dumb stuff, dropping the pencil in front of you, trying to pick it up. Anybody got no time for that? Wear, like, regular clothing. Be a professional because... You know, at a certain point, if you're in college, you're being prepared for the outside world. Uh, most people are going to go into the workforce, into corporate America or something like that. There's going to be a few entrepreneurs that are make it. But for the most part, everybody's going to go to work. So you want to be, you want to be prepared for that. You don't want to go to your actual interview with your bonnet and booty shorts on. That's not really going to go too well. If you're really being for real about trying to get a job, if you're serious about trying to get a job and employment, and trying to make money and be part of the workforce, you cannot dress that way or behave that way. And it's got to start at a certain point. You weren't taught these things in school. You weren't taught these things at home, obviously. So you got to get taught these things right here. How was that anti-black? You're paying to come here to get ready for the workforce, not only just in your education, as far as what you are able to learn from the specific course, but also your behavior, your dress patterns, and how to just interact and talk to people. That's very important. We're talking about getting money, working, and just being a society. You shouldn't go to college with the same mindset and behavior that you had in high school because if you're doing that, then what were you doing in college? What were you doing? Just going to the parties, not really caring about the classroom? Or if you go to the classroom, it's, it's not really much going on there as far as being able to develop you as a person. So I think the teacher here, I think it's a black male. I saw his picture, but I won't post it right here because I don't want nobody to harass him. I think the teacher has the right idea. And I, I read that he took the dress code out of the syllabus. I, I could be wrong about that. Hopefully he did not. I don't think Hampton backed down from their stance about the dress code in the business school, about the, the dreadlocks and whatnot gotten, have, having to be removed. I don't think they backed down. And if they did, it's unfortunate. And the same thing with this guy. Don't back down from what you're saying. You're saying the right thing. But of course, People are going to hate on you. They're not going to like it, and it's fine. You got to do with that. That's just come with the territory. You know, you, you, you're coming up with a thing. People want to do, like, as I close, I want to say this. People want to wear this stuff. They want to wear the do-rags and the hoodies and the bonnets and the booty shorts and the twerk shorts and whatnot. They want to wear these things, right? So when you say you can't wear, automatically there's a rebellion. But a lot of that, they come from youthful energy. A bunch of 18, 19-year-olds free from their parents for the first time. They want to rebel. Or they feel like they're grown, but they still behave like a child, right? You're still wearing your um, age 15 outfit that you would wear before you go to 10th grade, right? You're still wearing that to actual class. So you still got a young mind. You kind of rebel in a rebellious state. And some people, not all the kids, but some of the kids are not going to want to listen. That's just what it is. But hopefully this man does not back down and sticks to his guns because ultimately it would be better for these young people when they get to be 
out there in the workforce realizing that you can't just do whatever you want to do and have any kind of success in this world. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about this syllabus? Was it racist? Was it anti-black? Was it appropriate? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys should know where I'm at. It was a perfectly fine syllabus, perfectly fine dress code. I don't see anything wrong with it because, again, you're not going to be able to wear that kind of stuff in the corporate environment. And even if you have your own business, I'm not taking you seriously if you show up to a meeting dressed like you about to go to bed. If you come to a meeting about business, like let's say you're the business owner, right? You have your own LLC, corporation, whatever. You're the owner and you come to a meeting with pajamas on. I'm not paying you one red cent. I mean, Jeff Bezos would never. Steve Jobs, RIP, would never. Bill Gates, Elon Musk would never. They would never come to a, a, a meeting about some money just like they're about to go to bed. That's their business. They could just do whatever they want. Basically, they can buy. There's, there's, not, there's nothing they can't buy in the world, but still, they have to be able to interact with society at large. It's simple. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.